what is going on everybody we are back on it oh let me turn up the mic a little bit one piece 431 so <clears throat> not much to recap yeah it's been a lot of like giggle games and team rocket blasting off again and hold on they're over there they're over there the same one piece shit um regardless though we did get introduced to the last warlord that we've yet to see now there seems to be this massive i don't even want to say controversy but there seems to be a massive difference even brought it up in my discord chat i tried to search it online without getting spoiled and even online like the official one piece wiki had like a pronunciation and then this had a pronunciation and then i've heard it in the one piece live action pronounced a certain way then i see the subtitles here and i see the... how are we pronouncing his name is it with an n or is it with an m is it Jin, 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 Bay, or is it Jim with an M, Jim Bay? I can't seem to find consensus on it at all. Even on the One Piece like wiki where you can kind of get like characters and stuff, it had Jin Bay slash Jim Bay like three different spellings and pronunciations. So I'm trying to figure out like clearly there's a there must be a consensus among the One Piece watchers out there. What are we going with? So I don't even know how to correctly pronounce and or spell his name. You guys let me know on that. So we did see that we did get to see Crocodile as well at the end of last episode. So that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't even think about it on the time when it was kind of being brought up of, you know, how other, I guess, maybe up and coming. It's so interesting to see because we don't really have the motivation of other pirates because we're with our crew so much and all of them have differing dreams and aspirations. You know, Sanji wants to find the all blue. Um, you know, Robin has her history, polygriff shit. Usopp is trying to find his courage. Uh, Zoro wants to become the greatest swordsman. Chopper wants to become the best doctor. You know, Nami's out here or he's trying to, you know, find the medicine that'll cure all sicknesses. And Nami wants to be, you know, navigator. And Luffy wants to find the one piece and... I just don't even know what Brooke's looking for, just a crew, <laughs> maybe. But you kind of get caught up in, like, that's their dreams, that's their goals. That's, you know, kind of what they've come together to accomplish. Um, I don't know what Frankie's goal is either, to be honest. But it was interesting to hear Crocodile speaking at the end of last episode and to kind of hear the other fodder, I guess, prisoners that they had held up here. That, like, some... what. Who's to say whose dream is more important than the rest? Some of them could have dumb dreams, but who's to say your dream is... People might think... Um, Luffy, like, people on our crew's dreams are dumb. You know, it's a matter of opinion. But some of their dreams might be halted by some other pirates that are in the way. Or they feel like they are they can come up with some of them out the way. Whitebeard, for example. I never thought about, like, what would the... I guess, what could the positive pirate repercussions be? Because you know what the positive repercussions are for the Marines. Like, it's a massive blow to, like, the four top pirates and, like, the territories they control and everything. But then you got to think of it from a pirate side of, like, prob I don't, and I don't know if there's a pirate that's, like, just below kind of the four of, like, Shanks, Whitebeard, and I forget who the other two are. Maybe there's pirates that are, like, just, like, maybe not as, maybe not 100%, but maybe they're 80% of what those four are, 90%. But they're never going to get to be what they could be because of those four. I mean, and you might have other pirates that think the same way that aren't even close to them, but if Whitebeard was to be defeated or killed, and, you know, his second in command or his third in command can't step up, because he's going to be executed or whatever you want to call it. And like nobody's just nobody in his crew can readily just step in and take the place and kind of assert the dominance that he would. The dominoes that could fall for those pirates that are just waiting for one of those top four to fall. Control of all those territories. Uh, pirates that sail under him. Like where would those people flock to? Maybe they would flock to. Just throwing out a name. A crocodile or something like that. You know that's a lot now granted i'm sure the marines and navy would have a lot to say about the territories that he controls and the the, the countries that like would ride for him it's very interesting um so regardless of all the nonsense we've been getting in these last couple episodes the end of last episode was pretty damn good and i did enjoy kind of that little would we get 90 seconds of uh, Mr. Fish. <laughs> I'm just going to call him that until you guys give me... I don't want to be pronouncing his name. That's usually not pronounced. 
between him and Ace. Um, and it's interesting because like Whitebeard didn't, because we kind of got Mr. Fish's uh, <laughs> explanation on why he kind of rides for Whitebeard and why he kind of, like he, he seems he does really like, truly hate pirates for real. But you know, it's not like Whitebeard went out of his way to protect Fishman. It just was just like a causality of like territories that he took that has that Fishman area protected. It's not like, oh, I'm friends with them. They mean something to me. They're just as good as us. I'm going to go out of my way to protect them. It's like, no, this this area is mine. Um, and by default, those fishmen get protected. Um, now, maybe we find out later down the line with more white beard on screen that he does have a thing for like, you know, helping fishmen and doing all those type of things. Who knows? Um, hopefully we get a more, I don't know, maybe more serious tone here. Um, because like I said, it's so interesting to see Luffy like, I got to get here and save my brother. And he's over here on top of that. I don't know what we're calling it. We'll just call it a lion. He's like, haha, this is fun. Look at him. It's a game I want to play. And it's like, is it though? Like, aren't we here for a purpose? <laughs> and then finding out that it looks like Luffy could have just punched his way down it. Who knows? Let's see what we got. Oh man, it's time. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, the Sphinx did fall through. And they do not know the connection. I'm kind of upset that um, Garp isn't here at the same time. So that Garp conversation happened at, at a different time than us arriving here. I wish I could have gotten a date. A date in time lined up with that. Because, again, that's been one of my biggest things. I don't know. Maybe I'm overdoing it. And, like, there's no reason to talk about, like, Garp because it's just not a thing. And maybe he doesn't care and all those type of things. But him showing up to speak to Ace raises the question of, like, okay, why are you coming to speak to Ace? The, the easiest question would be, it's his grandson. Okay. So I want to, like, I want to hear it. It's like he shows up because, oh, it's his grandson. He cares about him. Okay. I want to continue that conversation. Like, you care about him, so that means what? You want to help him? You're more dedicated to the Marines? Would you toss away your job, your livelihood, your status for your own family to save them? Would you just bite the bullet and say, that's your choice? I'm sorry this had to happen to you, but I do want to say I care for you and, you know, see you on the other side? Like, what does it mean? Oh, no. Well, now everybody knows. Yep, and now they can go put all their forces in front of Ace's uh, cell. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now they can get word. Yep. Yeah. Now the warden can go straight to Ace's uh, cell. I think they can be there waiting for us. God, I wish Gark was here, man. I really would want to see, like, what, because we don't, I don't know Garp's personality or what he does. I guess is this is Garp here. Yeah. He's here. I want to see what he would do in this. Like, would, would he stand between protecting one of his grandsons from being killed? Would he stand between that and the Navy? I don't know. I have no idea. I know nothing about his character enough to know what he would do. He's he's usually just like a, a grown up Luffy. He just he just laughs. Everything's funny. It's laugh laugh. We we've never we haven't had enough of him on screen. I got more of him in the live action than I have here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Hmm? Hi. Thing is, y'all kind of just let him. They let him keep going unchecked. Uh, maybe not. They Garp did go have a word with him. Kuma did show up twice. Kuma did show up twice. Handled them at Thriller Bark. Handled them again after the Celestial incident, and they're still causing drama.
Animation looks great there. Art, awful. <laughs> oh, man. I really want to, I want to have a, an actual serious conversation with Garp. And I felt like we were going to get that for a second there with him and Ace, and they gave us like 45 seconds of screen time with it. I mean, he kind of did, but... Yeah, how did he get in? True. Because you start to get to a point of like, how much are you going to let Garp skate by for this? You gotta start pressing him to the fire after a while. But I've yet to see the Navy really lock in yet, so. Yet to really see him lock in yet. Anybody here. Like, Goku's yet to, like, so, has really lock in. He tries his best. Seems like he's just, he's over it. <laughs> He tries to keep everything duct taped together, but it's like falling apart at the seams because everybody because no one really has any like loyalty to anything Everyone's they're all ex pirates or current pirates and they all have their own agendas and want to do this and do that and only Show up for the benefit and this 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 and that that and that so Who knows He tries But I'm waiting for someone to like pull Garp aside Or like get their hands on Luffy and it's not Giggle Games, like, if your grandson keeps this up, we will take it out on you. And, like, be dead-ass serious. And he might hit them with the, you can kill this old man, I've lived my life, but it's not going to change anything. Okay, boom. <laughs> Just take his ass out. And then word of that gets back to Luffy, if you continue this up. Hmm. Is this man Okay. Yeah, the wax is gonna just keep melting. Was this the sun level? Well, you figure we just punch down again, no? Who do they keep on level three? Just gets increasingly, I guess, worse criminals. But like, where are the cells? It's just like an open, abandoned desert. How do they keep it so hot in there? Do we know where we're going? I figure there's got to be a wall somewhere. How about we all just run different directions? Hmm. I was going to say you could have him fly around maybe. Or have Luffy strip. Hey, you might as well eat it. I was about to say, you might as well eat it. You need the energy. I think you need an appetite at a time like this. Are there even any prisoners on this level? Okay. How do they, like, stay conscious in this heat? Luffy, we're uh, pressed for time. Remember that little note card you got that has like this much left on it that's actively burning as we speak? Is there anybody here? This would seem like an awful level to be on. Because it, at least on the other levels, like the animals aren't coming in, like no one's bothering you in the cell. They're just like roasting away in there. 
Like you're just wasting away. Oh, there's heat underneath. That's where it's coming from. Okay. And they deprive them of food on this level? I mean, they, like, barely give them. Bro, those glasses are done. Yeah, it's rough times. Well, pick a direction. Buggy actually seems to be freaked out. Well, what are we going to do, guys? Whose creepy ass voice is that? Who's this little kid? Oh, there's Nico Robin. I mean, Boa. I mean, no, Nico Robin. Is there still... We've caught up with everybody, right? Yeah, I think we have. It's just we only got a quick second of Brooke there. It's turning into mayhem in that bitch. Which is helping. Oh my god. They're right back where they started. We're just not taking the situation serious. We're just really not. I'm disappointed in Luffy, 100%. If there's not a situation that would make him more serious than this, I don't think there's anything in the entire story that will make him more serious than... What's transpired over the last, I don't know how long it's been since, you know, the crew got disbanded and then he had to, like, release the Conqueror's Hakai and that situ hockey that he didn't know that he had. And then finding out about Ace and all that. I don't know a, a series of events that could have made him more, like, locked in than he should be. And and I understand that could be the core of his character. But... At some point, it's gotta... It's gotta... It's made of sea, prism stone. Oh, shit. Well, Luffy, you're the one with the uh, hockey, right? You should be able to flex and bust out of there. Like, we just, like, <clears throat> flex and bust out of there or what? Don't let them get those handcuffs on you. Who is this? Why is he three feet tall? What? Okay. Four demon. I, I don't take anything in this. I don't take anything serious right now. What's with that staff? It looks like a flute.
Maybe he'll break us out of here. Maybe he'll flex and bust us out of here. Maybe he'll flex and bust us out of here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Help us out. Thank you. Let's keep it moving. I still would have liked to have seen Luffy do something about that. Um, just to show, like, Luffy, are we serious or not? Um, and it's an interesting thing. It's like... <clears throat> It's interesting, like, writer's choice right there. To have them get caught up in the net. To then just break out of the net within the, you know, the same minute. Uh, because if you're going to introduce us to whoever this guard is and, you know, us surrounding them, they could have just, like, done that. Without having to show that, like, Luffy and these two really can't break out of this sea prism net. It's like, that's pretty pathetic. <laughs> So to put them in that situation and then have them broken out of that same situation within the same clump of time, it's an interesting like right. It's an interesting choice there, story-wise. I feel like, in my opinion, I feel like that could have been a, a cool like hockey moment right there. Like he doesn't know what he's doing, but the rage and the panic and the the pressure of like what might happen to Ace if he doesn't get out of that. Um, but. What can you do? Spider-Man out of there. Just Spider-Man the hell out of there, man. There we go. I don't know if you can find stairs, man. Just start punching downwards, to be honest. Might be your best bet. Do they not have a word? Do y'all have a single, like, snail in there? <laughs> Maybe he's really about that life. I guess we'll see. I Like I said, and I've been saying this for a while. Aside from... The two admirals that we've seen. I haven't seen shit that the Navy's shown to be about any type of, like, business. Put Kuma in there, but Kuma doesn't even seem to be, like, really riding for them. He seems to get, he's got something going on. Um, and you could say all of them kind of, I would say the warlords are not loyal. Shit, none of them might 100% be loyal. I think there's going to be a lot of people in here. Like, uh, what was the giant's name from Robin's flashback? And, uh, and Okaji as well. That, like, just because, like, they're not ex-pirates that are just, like, working with the Navy like the Warlords are. Why is Bon Clay in here? <sighs> Why did you just scream like that? Anyway, as we were saying... Even though we've seen some, like, ride-or-die marines, like, oh, the, these two admirals will put you down. Okaji and, like, some others have seemed to at least have had some morality to them. But when it comes time to handle business, they handle business. But they still have some morality. I'm just waiting to see those marines that, like, it's yes, sir, no, sir. And we just do. So everybody we've defeated... Oh, and it just ends like that? Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, what can you do? But yeah, that's about the episode. Like I said, I've been... Disappointed with Luffy for a while now. I think I've been disappointed with him across the whole show. 
And it's interesting, <clears throat> and I don't want to spiel it, and I know people probably dislike it, but I am curious, like, of what people think about it, and I've had people tell me, like, that, <clears throat> like, that's One Piece, you know? Um, like, and if, if you, and if you don't kind of, like, enjoy these moments, like, this episode to me, aside from the opening with Goku and Garp, and then this ending here to show that, you know, Bon Clay's another character, um... Everything else in between it does not need to be watched, in my opinion. It is filler. You can skip it. Okay, they introduce us to that one short, you know, salmon boy, whatever you want to call him. Um, <clears throat> but there's really been, like, no substance to it. Um, but regardless, back to the topic of Luffy. Of... And, and you just kind of like you some of it you do that just like chalk up to and i don't mind because that is one piece like one piece at the core is going to be like funny and jokes and you have like you know the comedic faces that like nami makes and chopper makes and zoro makes and sanji and all those type of things and and you have those like slice of life episodes and that's like at the core of it and yada 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 and people are like oh well goku's the same way you know he doesn't take things serious and yada 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 blah 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 but like I don't know what it is about Luffy of like all the main characters because every main character in the show has kind of like their core of like what they're about, you know, something that they always like stick to. But something about Luffy is like so unserious. And I'm not saying you have to be like Aaron Yeager at all times 24 seven, like that kind of like locked in type shit. And you can, and how when situations aren't on a scale of ten out of ten, like this is serious, you can be as nonchalant Goku and Luffy and Naruto as you want to be, you know. But I feel like the differences of a lot of main char characters that I've seen in a lot of different shows, and this is a lot of shows, whether it's Naruto or you know Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball, My Hero, whatever main character you want to use something about luffy that just like doesn't take serious moments seriously and i thought that like and what's wild here is like and again i'm where do we 400 i still have like 550 to 600 episodes left to go so th this could change you know or this could be it. i feel like 400 episodes in this might kind of be what he is um but how does this how does the compounding situation over the last, I don't know what we want to say it's been, a month? How does that get any more serious than it is right now? Of, you know, losing his crew, people about to get hurt in front of him for helping him again with the Boa situation. Um, and then finding out your brother is sentenced to be executed like within like hours. And we're still just like we're just bullshitting actually just bullshitting joking walking around yada yada come on guys you told me you'd say you'd help me get down there and it's just like if all this that's compounded here in the last like time period of the story the couple weeks of the story all that that's compounded doesn't get luffy to like flip that bellamy switch and i'll never forget that <laughs> one of the greatest moments of the entire show is when he just like dead straight walks to Bellamy, doesn't say shit, one hit quits him and like walks back out. I feel like that type of attitude is is required right now. Like this is this is serious. This isn't like oh man, it's not like oh Ace was captured and it was just like left at that. They're like, oh, well, you know, we, we'll just try to break him out. And then it's like, okay, I might give you a pass for the giggles and shit. He's sentenced to be executed, like, murdered. He's sentenced to be killed, the guys. <laughs> and this man's like, that's fun. And, oh, let's eat that. And how do we get out of here? And ha ha. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm ranting about it. Apologize if. Luffy's your favorite character in all of anime and those type of things, but I feel like, and again, I, like I said, I've got like 500 to 600 episodes left, and the story's still ongoing, who knows, I might have another thousand episodes by the time One Piece actually finishes, 
Um, so there could be moments where he like locks in and changes or the, what I feel like 400 episodes in like this just might be him. Cause I don't see how the, how his, how what's happened to him in this short amount of time could be worse. And if these sets of events doesn't get him to like lock in, I don't think anything will. What are you going to do? What is going to take a tragedy to like tragedy has happened. You have no idea the whereabouts of your crew, and at the moment, you didn't even know if they were dead. Two of the people that risked their lives to help you almost got murdered, and now your brother's about to get killed. What is it going to have to change? Like, are they actually going to have to kill him in front of him for Luffy to, like, realize future, situ future situations have to be taken seriously? I don't know. I do not know. We'll leave it there and see. I apologize about the rambles. <laughs> but I'd love to go back and forth about that in the comments of kind of, like, when you were because you guys have like 500 more episodes than me so maybe your opinions have changed over time on him and things like that but well, like when you were up to this point in the story what was your opinions on luffy in moments like these you know and a lot of people have said like this impel down stuff is like their favorite arc or it's like one of the best ones like this is some good shit i've yet to see it um nothing's has really other than you know cameos <laughs> of buggy and mr three and bong play and crocodile and oh they introduced us to the last warlord mr fish <laughs> and oh son goku's back on screen that's cool oh look there's garp uh, the, the, the the arc hasn't like given me anything besides you know a couple cameos so i don't know we'll leave it there and see i'll just cut it <laughs> appreciate it everybody like your favorite subscribe and as always